How you doing folks? Welcome back to Airbrushers Games and Art. Hope you're having a good one. We have a new game here. And it's, uh, it's quite the new game. Uh, a friend of mine, another player on World of Tanks named Schizo, suggested I take a look at this game because I was looking for a new game to try a series on for my channel here. And so he suggested this one. So I went over to Steam. It was on sale and I downloaded it. And I must say, I've not been able to put it down since I've had it. Um, it is really something else. So as you can read here, um, what it is, is you're in a city, and civil war is breaking out, and the army has surrounded you. And they've got the rebels in the city with you, and you're just civilians. You're caught in between, and you've been bombed and shelled and everything else, and your supplies are dwindling, they got the supply lines cut off, and you need to survive. And you have three people here, Bruno, Katya, and uh, Pavlov. And each one has a specific skill they do the best. Now, each one could do everything, but they have a, a certain skill set where they do things better than the other people do. And what you need to do is find everything you need to survive. That includes food, medicine, water, you know, everything and the material to build what you need like for beds and stoves so you need to find wood and all of that oils and gas and so it's it's a total package and you know it's funny I I've watched other people play games that were you know like horror games and stuff and other games like this and they've always I always thought they they acted out their caring and stuff I didn't I thought you know video game how could you feel like that you know this is it's a video game you you think your way through and you move on to the next part and when I started playing this one that's I found out that you really do <laughs> feel that way so I was quite stunned by that and so I um, start putting everybody through. Now you start in your, your I'm going to call it a house, this building you're in, this house. You search through it and, and it has everything you need to start with, everything you need to get going. And, uh, some, and it takes a little while to actually get through the entire house. And there's parts where you need to get like special tools to get into other rooms and stuff. And so you just don't zip through it like nothing, you know. It, you actually have to work your way a little bit. And you'll notice that I uh, sometimes will forget which character I have selected and I'll forget to change and want someone else to do something else and and get stuff kind of screwed up. And oh, put you back to work because I didn't I missed my click. But I'll figure a way around that here in a few minutes. You'll see an easier way to handle it. So here what I'm making is stuff I need to make other things with and combustibles because I have to provide my own heat too. So, and so you have to make your own stoves and everything. So you need to, to gather or scavenge or create your materials also. So it's not just your food, it's everything but the clothes on your back you have to create. And as they do things, they... You, you know, your characters start to feel hungry, they start to feel sick, they're thirsty, they're tired, they're depressed, they go through the whole gamut, and it's your job to take care of them. And I find that really something else. I mean, I think this game would be hard enough with one player, let alone, or one character, let alone three. So it's really challenging, and you got to decide who does what and when they do it, not everything. And another thing I've noticed, and I've played this game a little bit before this video, and what I did is I just kind of got a feeling for the controls and everything you need to do. And um, I discovered if, if um, someone's not doing something, you don't have something for them to do right away. Like I just built another chair there. So two people can sit down if they don't have anything to do because as long as they're standing and doing stuff, they're getting hungry, they're getting tired, thirsty. And so I give them a place to go so they can rest up when I don't have anything at that moment to do for them. 
And uh, yep, still clicking and moving people around when I'm trying not to have them do that. Another thing that I like about it is it actually takes a little while when you start doing stuff. You don't just go through it. You don't just finish a, a task that you've given instantly. It actually takes a little bit of time making it something you have to think about. Um, what if uh, Pavlov up there who just finished that? Uh, let's put him, let's put Bruno back to work. I didn't mean him. And here I figure out, oh, I can choose them that way so I can just click on their little card down there. No, no problem. Now, as long as Pavlov is doing stuff, he's getting hungry and all of that stuff. Uh, but I also notice he's the one that, that doesn't get out of energy the, you know, as fast as the other ones do. And I think it's because he's more athletic. And so he's able to survive a little longer. And you have locked doors. You have to um, figure out how to get them open. You need tools to do that. And you need to either build your tools or you need to barter for them. And so there's no other players in this game. Everything else is NPC, but it, it is not easy. I'm telling you. And you really find yourself caring for for your characters because each, you know, you're controlling each one specifically for each task. As you can see, if you don't click on them, they, so they stop moving. They don't do anything. So here we're moving into the night. And uh, this is the scary part. This is where you go out and scavenge. This is where you leave the protection of your home at night. And you head out into the war-torn city. Hoping not to be snipered or anything else. And so you're sneaking around, literally, as you can see by the way you're, you're walking. You don't want to be seen, you want to be caught, and you don't want to be killed. And uh, you can peek through uh, keyholes, at least keyholes. I'm probably Windows too once I get, have to do that. It allows you to look inside uh, anything there. And I, I was like, how come that, that's blocked? I don't get it. I didn't see anything. You can see your field of view opens up as you give it longer and longer. And I can see now there's boards at the door. So I go down. I'm going to go in from under the house. Now all you have on you is your backpack. And it has limited amount of space. So what I started doing is I just grabbed everything. And allowed it to fill up. And then I'd go to other places. I start trading things in and out. For you know what I seen, what I thought I needed. Now I know what I need to build here first at my home, so I know what I need to get. That's the most important to start with. And that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm not concerned because I can get food and stuff in a couple of days. I need to get some other things first. And you can see each slot on your. Um, Backpack only holds four, so four of anything in a slot and it's full. And you fill up all your slots, you're done. So here I run back home and I take everything that I got. And um, yeah, Bruno's back and I found stuff, yay. It was really strange how much I started to care about what was happening. So now that I'm back, um, everything in my backpack will be added to the main list of all our items. And it's from here that I start creating what I need. It's, it's, um, I start putting everything together. And so I'm going to make uh, some beds and a stove to start getting, you know, because stove I can cook on and I can heat the place with. So I'm going to make sure they don't get tired, that they can rest, and that they can heat themselves up. And this is pretty much uh, where I'm at, and this is where it's going to be leaving off at until the next video. So I want to thank you for joining me. Please uh, leave a note in the comments what you think about this game. I think it's fantastic, and if you want to see more of it, I hope you do, because I'm filming quite a bit of it. So please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you back. You have a great day. Until next time, bye.